it's sort of crazy about the lot yeah. so that it's building in. This originally was built in 1894. Uh, it was built for a National Guard armory. And what had happened was Harold Graves and Al Conti had this idea for an antique co-op. Anything from furniture, jewelry, lamps, collectibles, coins, paintings, rugs, sterling, uh, anything that's popular. Um, this market changes a lot. It's not always the same. I've never seen anything like that. That's all hand done. Uh, the price range varies. Uh, anything from a few dollars to several thousand dollars. So we hit every income bracket. Um, it, we get anything and everything in here. We do a lot of estate calls. A lot of people uh, can sign with us. I'm getting ready to donate all the clothing to either the Women's Center or another charity. So we try to pass it along to somebody who can use it if we can't sell it. The, the, the fun of the antique business still remains that people always want to go through uh, the armory to see what's, what's new there and, or what, you know, what great things from the past are there. It's such a fun business because there's nothing like a good antique, the quality you know, is, is real. Uh, now they got things coming from primarily China, you know, or the uh, or South America. One thing about the antique business, uh, you usually get something that's, uh, that's real and uh, legit and it has uh, antique value. We have some very capable people down there. You know, they have the interest and they have the place. And that's why we have such a good, uh, uh, we have not too much of a turnover of employees because these people who are there, they, uh, they're very involved themselves and it's a kind of a labor of love, you know? So and it's what's very important, whatever job you have in life, you gotta like what you're doing. Otherwise, you're not gonna do a very good job on it. So that's one good thing about the operation, it kind of runs itself because the people are motivated, you know? It's so interesting. It's never boring. You do not know everything. There are so many specialties. Some people specialize in coins. Some people uh, specialize in furniture. Some people specialize in watches. Other people, diamond rings. Every, there's a niche in every category. So you're always, I would say you're always learning. It's not a boring job at all. Not a boring job.